So hey everyone, I'm gonna show you guys today a really fun activity that you can do with your kid. This is for infant and toddlers, so if you guys have both, this is great for both of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you haven't. You're going to need flour. You're going to need food coloring. You're also going to need salt, some paint that is orange and green. You're going to need some sponge brushes and a sharpie. You're gonna need a big bowl. You're also going to need some measuring cups. I used one cup, a half, and one fourth. So let's get started. Okay, so for the infant project, you're gonna take one cup of flour. You're gonna go ahead and add the flour into the bowl. Take one cup of salt and add it into the bowl as well. Add it together, go ahead and mix it all up. Now add a half a cup of water into the mixture and go ahead and start mixing it together. I first did it with a fork because it's more easier because it's slimy at first. Then after I went ahead and used my hands once I seen it start forming into dough. Now to make orange, you're going to have red and yellow food coloring. Go ahead and put three little droppings of the food coloring of each color into the dough. Now that you see the color forming to orange, go ahead and start mixing it in with the dough and getting it as much color on the dough as possible. This is to help the paint uh, go on smoothly and more like pigment. little piece of the dough out and put it aside that's gonna be your guys's stem and then once your dough is already all colored and mixed go ahead and start flattening out to make your shape of a pumpkin doesn't have to be perfect pumpkins aren't perfect but go ahead and start rounding that out to be a pumpkin now that your pumpkin is shaped out go ahead and add green food coloring to your stem Mix it all together and then you can go ahead and make it into like a leaf-like looking type of dough. I'm not sure how I did it and then just place it on your pumpkin. Have it your pumpkin. Now that it's already shaped out as a pumpkin, go ahead and take your little baby and imprint their hand and their little tiny foot in the pumpkin. Get it as good dent as you can in there so that way it can come out showing after you bake it. Uh, my papas was so cute doing this. I'm so glad that I filmed this part because now I have these memories to cherish. And there's your little pumpkin with your imprint. Place it in the oven, put the oven at 200 degrees, and bake it for three hours. And now for your toddler, take a half a cup of flour and place that flour in the bowl. And you're basically going to be doing the same process step, but this time you can let your toddler do it because I'm sure that they would want to go in on the fun. And take a half a cup of salt, add that in with the flour. Again, the same process, mix it up all together and make sure that it's all good. I'm, I know Naraya had so much fun doing this. She enjoyed doing it on her own. And then for the water part, you're going to go ahead and add one fourth cup of water so take that water and add it in the bowl and mix it all up this time I just used my fingers and I did it for her before it's like so it's not sticky when she does it and then I let her play with the dough for a little bit and yeah I'm basically doing the exact same thing that I did with the infant project but this toddler project I did a half a cup instead because you're just gonna do the handprint
Now you know what's next. Go ahead and shape your pumpkin to get it ready for your baby girl or baby boy's handprint. Uh, Naraya had so much fun putting her handprint in. She said that it was, um, it felt uh, like Play-Doh-ish sticky. She said it was so cute seeing her um, do this together and stuff. bake this for three hours on 200 degrees. Once it's done you'll feel that it's really hard but it's also really hot so you gotta let it sit for about an hour and then I paint the back first of the pumpkin before um, I let Naraya paint the front but go ahead and let your little toddler paint it up. I let her paint the whole thing. Um, it took her a while but she got it down and there's little spots you can see but that's the sentimental value of this project because you know that they did it. So I left it as as she did it. So that was the cool part about this project. And then I went ahead and painted TJ's little pumpkin after it was done. And this is just a great project for you and your kids to work on, especially to have for memories to look back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Bye everyone!